Welcome to M Health and Info, your ultimate source for all things health and wellness. Join us as we explore the latest in medical science, debunk health myths, and provide expert insights to empower you on your health and wellness journey. Hit subscribe, ring the bell, and let's explore the world of well-being together. This is M Health and Info, where knowledge meets vitality. Introduction. In the realm of dietary combinations, the pairing of beans and whole grains represents a seemingly wholesome union, rich in protein, fiber, and essential nutrients. However, beneath the veneer of nutritional synergy lies a subtle yet significant clash in their respective digestive characteristics. This comprehensive exploration delves into the physiological mechanisms underpinning the incompatibility of beans and whole grains, shedding light on the intricate interplay between dietary fibers, anti-nutrients and digestive enzymes and the implications for digestive well-being. The fiber factor. At the heart of the discord between beans and whole grains lies a fundamental disparity in their fiber content and composition. While both are lauded for their fiber-rich nature, the types of fibers present in beans and whole grains differ significantly in their fermentability and impact on digestive function. Beans, particularly legumes such as lentils and chickpeas, are renowned for their high content of soluble fibers such as oligosaccharides which can be difficult to digest and ferment in the colon. In contrast, whole grains contain predominantly insoluble fibers such as cellulose and hemicellulose which contribute to bulk formation and facilitate bowel regularity. When consumed together, the disparate fermentability of soluble fibers from beans and insoluble fibers from whole grains can disrupt the balance of gut microbiota and lead to gastrointestinal discomfort. Anti-nutrients and digestive enzyme inhibitors. Beyond their fiber content, beans and whole grains harbor a myriad of anti-nutrients and digestive enzyme inhibitors that can further complicate their digestion and assimilation. Beans in particular contain compounds such as lectins, phytates, and enzyme inhibitors which serve as defense mechanisms against predation but can interfere with nutrient absorption and digestive processes in humans. Similarly, whole grains contain phytic acid, which binds to minerals such as iron, zinc, and calcium, rendering them less bioavailable for absorption. When consumed together, the cumulative effects of anti-nutrients and digestive enzyme inhibitors in beans and whole grains can impede the breakdown and assimilation of nutrients, leading to suboptimal nutritional status, and digestive distress. Fermentation and gas production. The fermentation of soluble fibers from beans in the presence of insoluble fibers from whole grains can give rise to a veritable symphony of gastrointestinal symphony, characterized by bloating, gas, and abdominal discomfort. Soluble fibers, such as oligosaccharides found in beans, serve as substrates for bacterial fermentation in the colon, producing gases such as methane, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide. In contrast, insoluble fibers from whole grains add bulk to stool and promote bowel regularity, but their fermentation by gut bacteria is less pronounced. When consumed together, the fermentability of soluble fibers from beans can be exacerbated by the presence of insoluble fibers from whole grains, leading to increased gas production and digestive discomfort. Acid-base balance and digestive enzyme activity – the consumption of beans and whole grains together can disrupt the delicate balance of acid-base equilibrium in the digestive tract, affecting the activity of digestive enzymes and the efficiency of nutrient absorption. Beans, as sources of plant-based proteins, contain amino acids that require an alkaline environment for optimal digestion and assimilation. In contrast, whole grains contain starches that are broken down by enzymes, such as amylase, in the acidic environment of the stomach. When consumed together, the conflicting pH requirements for the digestion of proteins and starches can impair the activity of digestive enzymes and hinder the breakdown of nutrients, leading to suboptimal nutrient absorption and digestive discomfort. Gastrointestinal transit time and bowel regularity. The combination of beans and whole grains can influence gastrointestinal transit time and bowel regularity, impacting the frequency and consistency of bowel movements. Soluble fibers from beans, which are fermented by gut bacteria in the colon, can slow down gastrointestinal transit and increase the water content of stool, leading to softer stools and more frequent bowel movements. In contrast, insoluble fibers from whole grains add bulk to stool and promote bowel regularity, but their fermentation by gut bacteria is less pronounced. When consumed together, the fermentability of soluble fibers from beans can be exacerbated by the presence of insoluble fibers from whole grains, 
leading to changes in bowel habits and potential gastrointestinal discomfort. Nutrient absorption and bioavailability. The combination of beans and whole grains can influence the absorption and bioavailability of nutrients, impacting overall nutritional status and metabolic health. Beans contain compounds such as phytates and lectins, which can bind to minerals such as iron, zinc, and calcium, rendering them less bioavailable for absorption. Similarly, whole grains contain phytic acid, which can inhibit the absorption of minerals and impair their bioavailability. When consumed together, the cumulative effects of anti-nutrients in beans and whole grains can hinder the absorption of key nutrients, leading to suboptimal nutritional status and potential health consequences. Immune response and inflammatory pathways. The consumption of beans and whole grains together can influence immune response and inflammatory pathways, affecting systemic inflammation and metabolic health. Beans contain compounds such as lectins and saponins, which can interact with immune cells and modulate inflammatory pathways. Similarly, whole grains contain compounds such as gluten and lectins, which can trigger immune responses in susceptible individuals. When consumed together, the cumulative effects of immune-stimulating compounds in beans and whole grains can exacerbate inflammation and contribute to immune-mediated disorders such as autoimmune diseases and allergies. Gut microbiota composition and diversity. The combination of beans and whole grains can influence gut microbiota composition and diversity, impacting overall gut health and metabolic function. Beans contain soluble fibers that serve as prebiotics, promoting the growth of beneficial bacteria such as bifidobacteria and lactobacilli in the colon. Similarly, whole grains contain insoluble fibers that serve as substrates for fermentation by gut bacteria, contributing to microbial diversity and metabolic activity. When consumed together, the fermentability of soluble fibers from beans can be enhanced by the presence of insoluble fibers from whole grains, leading to changes in gut microbiota composition and metabolic function. Practical Recommendations and Conclusion In conclusion, the combination of beans and whole grains represents a complex interplay of dietary fibers, anti-nutrients, and digestive enzymes that can influence digestive health and overall well-being. While both are valuable components of a balanced diet, their simultaneous consumption may pose challenges for some individuals, particularly those with sensitive digestive systems or certain dietary intolerances. To optimize digestive health and promote nutritional adequacy, individuals are encouraged to experiment with different food combinations, monitor their digestive responses, and consult with healthcare professionals or registered dietitians for personalized dietary recommendations. By embracing mindful eating practices and honoring the body's innate wisdom, we can cultivate a harmonious relationship with food that nurtures both digestive harmony and overall health.